Hey guys, today I'm doing a video in the rain. I didn't plan on doing it in the rain, it just kind of worked out that way. But what you're going to need to make shark cloth is 100% cotton. It doesn't matter what it is, it's just got to be 100% cotton. It can't be 50% cotton and 50% polyester or anything like that. It won't take a spark. You want it to be 100% cotton, just like this is. Here, I'll show you. Hopefully you can see that. So it's 100% cotton. You're also gonna need a container. I've got two containers. I've got a small soup can and I got a large soup can. The small one, will, the char cloth will go in the small one. Then I'll put the big one over it, put it in the fire like that, and I'll show you guys how to how that all works here. Make sure so just keep watching. Okay, guys. The next step you want to do is you want to take your cloth and cut it up to small squares, a little bit smaller than that, but and you don't want it too big because it's, it falls apart real easy. You want it to be small enough to fit inside a tobacco tin and you can take that piece out and use it basically what you want. But you can use a lot of natural materials for char too, like cattail fluff, and you can use pieces of punk wood, which I actually have right here. I'm not sure what kind of punk, what kind of wood this is, but the bark's completely been stripped off it. But found a couple of pieces that I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my tin as well and see if we can't get a spark on it. Yeah, but just cut this up into small pieces about that size. I'm gonna get a fire going. I'll show you the next step, so just keep watching. We got our fire going. Now we want to take our material that we cut up. I'll probably leave this part out because it's got the tag on it. Or cut the tag off one of the two. Just take your material, stuff them down in your tin, including my punk wood that we talked about earlier. You can use thistles and stuff too, guys. There's a lot of natural materials you can use to make char. Then you just Put it in, just like that. Steam will cause the inside cup to rise, and it'll push all that that uh, excess in, or the uh, smoke out. You just need to put it close to the fire. It doesn't have to be inside the fire. We're gonna let that sit for just a little while. Here's kind of a close up look at my tin in the fire. Like I said, it doesn't need to be in the fire, it just has to be close to it. And if you look close enough, you can see smoke escaping, and that's what's gonna cause that cloth to become char cloth. As you can see, there's no longer any smoke coming from the container. And that's pretty much how you know that your char cloth has been completely charred, is when smoke stops rising from your container. We're gonna give this some time to cool off and we'll be back. I also wanted to show you guys this, that I pulled out a couple of pieces of wood that's been charred just in the fire. I didn't use a container or anything, I just pulled this off what was already burning that's already been charred up. The oxygen's been taken out of it and it should take a spark pretty easy, but sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on the wood you use. 
but I wanted to show you guys that you can char stuff without a material without a container you just gotta pull it off before it gets burnt to ashes you want it to pretty much look like that you can see all I had to do was blow on it and it starts to spark up a little bit Okay guys, I've taken my tin off the fire and let it cool. And you want to make sure that it's completely cool whenever you take it off or whenever you open it. Because if you do it too soon, it'll, oxygen will get into it whenever it's too hot and it'll start to spark up and you'll lose some char cloth that way. But I got my flint and steel here. I'm gonna open it and see what it looks like. I remember this ground is completely dry. That's what we want right there. Let's see if this will spark up. I also got some of that punk wood too, so plus some of the some of the char from the fire. But this shut stuff should go up pretty easy. As you can see right there. All it takes is a little spark. You just blow on it. Put that in a bird's nest and you're good to go. Now we know that works. Let's try some of this punk wood out. That one went up. It took a couple of more than a couple of strikes, but that's how it goes sometimes. That's just that punk wood. You know it works, so I put it in too. Now this is what we pulled out of the fire. I'm not sure about this, but we'll find out. Char out of the way. Hey guys, I wanted to kind of do an update on what I pulled out of the fire. I was not able to get a spark with that, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes, guys. Sometimes you'll get a, an ember with that stuff, sometimes you won't. But the char cloth and the punk wood was both successful. But thanks for watching my video, guys. I appreciate it. Subscribe and leave any comments. Thanks for watching.